almost there. Now we're going to work on what's known as a straight leg bound. This is going to require a bit of some bounce. The idea is that we're going to be putting more of a dynamic, reactive, eccentric load on the plantar flexors, that means your calf muscle, um, and as well on the hip extensors and knee flexors, predominantly the hamstring. So it's going to look like so. Legs are straight. Okay? If I do this with motion, it's going to look like so. Notice I give a little bit of a lean back as I go through these, but it just depends on the surface that you're on. If I'm on a surface like this here in the gym setting, I might not be able to have that much pull as the leg hits the ground and pulls across. So I may have to lean back a little bit more. If I'm on asphalt or on a sidewalk, there may actually be more, well, there obviously would be more friction. So you'll feel more of a pull of, of the actual um, plantar flexors and the hamstring muscle itself. Um, be conscientious of your strike pattern. If you start feeling any pain in the, in the actual metatarsal head of your foot, kind of like near the balls of your foot, then we really want to probably work on some soft tissue to that area and just make sure the foot's being compliant. And obviously there's some strengthening exercises you could do. Uh, all of these, these plyometric exercises are a step up from what you should be doing and constitute as your foundation of strength conditioning. Remember running is yes, a skill, but it is very much also a task that requires a good foundation of strength. And the more muscle that we do build as a runner does not make us heavier in the sense that it slows us down. In fact, improving on muscle, uh, on fat-free mass for a runner is highly important to not only protect the joints, but remember mitochondria, those small little organelles that act like batteries, that use oxygen and sugar to put them together to make muscle energy, or what we call ATP, those live in your muscle. So having adequate muscle size means having adequate mitochondrial density and henceforth improved VO2 max and endurance.